avocado aficionados, Olga and Chef Stuart O'Keefe are in the kitchen and they're making much more than just guacamole. Okay, so are you ready to celebrate Cinco de Mayo? Yes. Of course you are. <laughs> Chef Stuart O'Keefe, always ready for a party. Uh-huh. Always, you know me, <laughs> of course. And today it's all about avocados. You know they're native to Mexico and Central America, and they're grown around the world. No, I feel like they grow them everywhere now because they're always everywhere. available. They're so good. They become <clears throat> really mainstream, part of our daily diets, and why not? I mean, they're delicious, they're nutritious, and you're going to just show us how versatile they are. Do you know that the avocado is actually a fruit, though? Actually, no, I thought it was a veggie. It's considered a berry because it's fleshy pulp and it has a seed. Oh, that's news. I mm. didn't know that. So there, while there are several types of avocados, one thing is for sure, they're super delicious. I love them. I love them completely. Do you know how to say it in Spanish? No, what is it in Spanish? Aguacate. Aguacate? There you go, an Irish man speaking Spanish. Woo! But today we're using frozen ripe avocados from Welch's. Really? Super good. So they're in the freezer, you pop them out, and after about 30 minutes, you can use them. Frozen? Yeah, and look what we have here. This so is great. Much. You know how many times I've gotten an avocado? I use half of it, and what do you do? Throw it away. You trash it because it gets brown. Like, all the time for me. Even on my chef, I can't keep them from going brown. Why did it's I just, think of this? This is amazing. All right, so you got the famous guacamole. With the guacamole with some sun-dried tomatoes. They're mm. super good. Plantain chips. Love them with plantain chips also. So many kinds of guacamole, too. What? This has a little bit of what in it? Um, sun-dried tomatoes. Mm. So you have onion in there, some green onion, um, some cilantro, lime juice. You know, your usual guacamole. And I could add super chipotle. Good. Mm hmm mm, This is Whatever fantastic. You want. Man, this is good. Okay, keep going. Love this. Oh. Key lime pie. We're saving a bunch of calories here. Key lime pie with avocado? Avocado, because we're taking out the condensed milk, which is just basically a can of sugar and fat. Oh, wow. So we're going to put in the avocado, and you get this beautiful green. Healthier? You know, healthier, absolutely. So Cinco instead of one Mayo. slice, maybe I'll gonna, get two slices. I'm going to borrow this as well for St. Patrick's Day. Look, it's green. We can do that as well, right? I love it. Okay, Let's bring avocado in there. So then we have little bites. So we have meatball bites with like some cheese, bacon, and of course, Avocado on top. Super so, cute like for a, a party. Like a simple guacamole, just a mashed guacamole with just some onion in there. These are really non-traditional really Cinco nice de Mayo Really nice appetizer, things. yeah. Mm -hmm. Love that. Because I'm always just like the guacamole, but look at this. Now we had to bring a little bit of Irish into the whole scene <laughs> with a potato, and then we're going to fill it up with this beautiful mix that I'm going to do with tomatillos. Tomatillo. Guacamole. Mm. So here we go. We have the, the avocados in here, okay. right? Okay. Frozen. Unbelievable. See, look at that. Now. But it, they're fantastic, right? Uh -huh. Just like that. Mm. Absolutely perfect. So I'm just gonna pop these in the food processor, right? Right there. Mm -hmm. We got some lime juice. Can't we do anything some, without that lime juice. Gotta get your onion in there. This is really good. Some jalapeno. 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 Nice and spicy. All right. And we got our tomatillos. Tomatillos are good. And you know what? Something about avocados, healthy fats, cholesterol free, mm -hmm. so many great nutrients in it. Do you know what I'm so excited in the mornings? Mm. I'm such a fan of avocado toast. Like, I'm obsessed. I'll do egg whites with it on some monkey And you put grains. a little bit of tomatoes on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. All the time. It's just such a great uh, breakfast to go in the morning. But, like, having this in my freezer, oh, it's easy. Really perfect. Super easy. So, it's going to pulse that. Get that all chopped up. Now, I know I ate it right out of the bag, but you kind of thought for how long? About 30 minutes. 30 minutes, okay. About 30 minutes and you're good to go. Because that's why it was so soft and delicious. All right, so let me grab two of these potato skins right here. So this is this really creative. This is so good. I love this. This is let fantastic. So we have some black beans here. I just cooked them up and just mashed them, okay? Okay, another lesson. How do you say that in Spanish? How do you say black beans in Spanish? Frijoles negros. Frijoles de negros. Nice. This is good. It's a Spanish lesson. The here. Irish and the Latina coming together. All right. Just like this potato skin coming together. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I'm telling you. I'm caliente. She brings the game every time. Okay, so we got some shredded chicken here. <laughs> chicken breast, or if you want to get rotisserie chicken, which you guys all know is one of my favorites. Mm. Some chicken on top there. We got a little spicy salsa here. Easy recipe. Actually, we're going to do. Kids can have fun doing this with. The I family. got ahead of myself. We're going to oh, push. You're too excited. I'm too excited. Mm -hmm. These are so good. They're so tasty. You know what this reminds me of also? I'm going to grab this real quick because I know this is your book, The Quick Six Fix. You even have a good oh. little, I saw this the other day, a Mexican oh, my recipe. Oh, Mexican, Mexican yeah. street corn? Yeah. You got that little Mexican street corn going. This so will be a good. So the Mexican sweet, stre uh, street corn in the book, you could substitute this yes. for the mayonnaise. Use Again, the avocado. save yourself calories. Yeah, all right. A little Look bit of this. Mexican here and there. Look at this beautiful appetizer here. Oh, gosh. Wait, what? I thought you were going to give that to me. What's oh. wrong? I'm so rude. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Mm 
Mm. See okay. how this is? This product kind of quite large. Mm. Mm. Mm, this is really good. Yeah. Mm, fantastic. Okay, great ideas using Welch's frozen <clears throat> avocados. Yeah. Where can we get these recipes so, and more? These recipes and more you can get them at welchsfrozenfoods.com. Or we can go always to our website, thebalancingapp.com. This has been so much fun. <laughs> okay, so before we leave, let's do a little quiz. Mm -hmm. oh, quiz. How do you say avocado in Spanish? Avocado aficionados? <laughs> That's what you mean, right? Aguacate. I need to take classes. Avocado. Aguacate. Aguacate. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll get there. You're the best. Another bite. Another mm. bite. Okay. Oh, happy Cinco de Mayo.